Good day, Royal fans. Today's headline. Prince Andrew spotted horse riding at Windsor ahead of anxious Christmas, court date set. The Duke of York looked relaxed as he ambled along with another rider at Windsor Great Park, Berkshire, which is public property. Pictures emerged as the civil case brought against him by Virginia Dufresne reached its next stage. The 38-year-old is suing the 61-year-old royal for unspecified damages, claiming that he sexually assaulted her when she was a teenager. Specifically, she asserts that she had sex with her father of two on three occasions. Andrew vehemently denies all the allegations and insists that he has no recollection of ever meeting her, despite there being a picture of the pair together in 2001. His lawyers have rubbished her civil case, lodged in a New York court, and have applied to have it dismissed, claiming that it is without merit. This week, US Judge Lewis Kaplan said the court would hear the defendant's motion to dismiss the complaint on the morning of January 4th, leaving Andrew with an agonizing wait over the festive period. In her case, Ms. Dufresne alleges that convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein used her as a sex slave and lent her out to his wealthy and powerful associates, including Andrew. Andrew's lawyers hid back in legal documents which emerged last week. In these, they claim that a 2009 document Ms. Dufresne signed with Epstein, who died awaiting trial in 2019, made her civil case against him void. This was because the agreement forbade her from ever bringing future cases against the convicted pedophile or his associates, including royalty, they say. They claim this cause, cause exempts the prince from the forthcoming case. It also branded Ms. Dufresne's claims as baseless and financially motivated. Should the prince request be rejected, a civil trial should take place between September and December next year, Judge Kaplan said in a recent hearing. Should this materialize, Ms. Dufresne's legal team are expected to request that the Duke of York gives testimony under oath. It is possible that his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson could be called to give evidence as well. There you have it guys, today's latest royal news. Thank you so much for watching and all your support. Goodbye for now.